This is the Logan F500-3 Deluxe Frame Finishing Kit. It includes the F60 dust cover trimmer and three extra blades, the F500-2 Dual Drive Elite and 50 pieces each of flexible and rigid inserts, a 10 foot by 18 inch roll of dust cover paper, 24 pieces each of D-rings and screws, 24 felt bumpers, one 60 yard roll of ATG tape, and 20 feet of coated picture frame wire. Here we have an assembled picture ready for the backing to be applied. Here's how that's done. Put it on its face, get the dual drive, you've got your foam core in here, Walk around this way. Now we're ready to apply the double stick tape. I'm going to go around the edges, putting it oh, about a quarter of an inch in from the outside edge. Rip it off like that. Come down here, make sure that the tape goes all the way to the edge of the, where you intersect it or put the last piece of tape on. Now I'm going to peel the white paper off, comes right off like that, go all the way around, and I'm ready for the paper. I have pre-cut a piece of paper that is just slightly larger than the frame. I'll put it down on my flat surface, smooth it out. Then I grab my frame, keep in mind we have the double stick tape around the edge, and put it on here like this. And then I'm going to turn it over. Now before I trim the edges, I'm going to fold them down. So I know exactly where the edges are and so that my paper trimmer will have an easier time of doing what it's going to do. I'm ready now for the dust cover trimmer. Make sure that it's set in the blade position, not the safe position, so the blade is just sticking out a little bit. Hold it at just about a 45 degree angle. Now I'm pushing against the frame so it doesn't wander off that way. And I'm not cutting into the frame, scoring it just a little bit perhaps, but the idea is simply to cut the paper. This will give you a nice neat backing all the way around. Voila! Now we're going to put on the hanging hardware. Make sure you know where the top of your work is. Lay it down on its face. I'm going to measure down approximately one-third from the top. This does not have to be exact. Eh, I'm going to put this in about five inches. It's handy to have the other side the same, same distance. Then I use an awl to start the hole, like this. This helps you get the screw in the right place and helps it go in. Now I take my first D-ring, lay it on here, take a screw, a screwdriver, do the other side, Now we're going to put the wire on. We use a coated wire. It's easier on the fingers. It's easier to work with. And once you use the braided wire as opposed to this, I think you won't go back to it. This is the way to go. I put it through the first D-ring. Then I tie a little knot. This makes it very secure. And then take the tail of it and wrap it a little bit. Pull it down here to just beyond the D-ring. Oh, about right here, and clip it, and we're going to do the same thing.
bend up the corner just a little bit so you can loop it through. The last step is to apply a couple of bumpers to the bottom corners to give it a little bit of separation from the wall and to keep it from sliding back and forth. Now your artwork is complete and ready to be hung up.